Hi, Explorers. This is Candy. She's a Chihuahua mix. Do you have a pet? She loves jumping, eating, sleeping, and climbing. Talking about climbing and jumping, that takes me to our new guest. Amazing creation! Welcome back to Amazing Creation. Our guest for today has these characteristics. They love climbing in very, very steep mountains and have big, big horns. But first, we're going to start with a prayer. Hi everyone, let's have a moment of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the day that you gave us. Thank you for all the beautiful things that you created. Lord, we ask you to bless all the people that are hearing us. Help us to be a better person. We pray for all who is sick around the world. Thank you for always being there for us. Bless Emma's program. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. The verse of the day is in Psalms 104, 18 that says, The high mountains are for the wild goats, the cliffs of refuge the rock bangers. Ibex are wild goats that live in the mountainous regions of Europe, North Central Asia, and Northern Africa. There are five species of ibex. Ibex are herbivores. They only eat vegetation such as shrubs, bushes, and grasses. Ibex make their homes on cliffs that would be dangerous for predators. They are social and live in groups called herds. The herds are separated by gender, meaning males will have a herd and females and offspring will be in another herd. They can jump more than six feet straight up without a running start. Ibex hooves have sharp edges and concave on their side that act like suction cups to help them grip the sides of steep, rocky cliffs. Did you know that alpine ibex climb a very steep dam, seems simply looking for salt? The concrete provides them with an unconventional salt lick. That makes total sense because all animals crave salt. Without it, your nerves and muscles just don't function properly. And it's especially important for moms when they're feeding their young, so maybe that's why you only see females and their kids on this dam. Since Bible times, people have used horns as instruments. It has a very nice sound. It is called the shofar. Let me show you how it sounds. If you haven't seen the last video, that we also sent it a huge shell. See our last video and you will find out how a shell can sound. Have you seen how the ibex searches for salt? Jesus said that we're the salt of the whole earth. Not only does the salt give us great flavor, but it also makes us thirsty. We should make people thirsty of Jesus. 
talking about salt, there are many ways to use salt. Today, we will use the salt to make your favorite ice cream. For this recipe, we will be needing ice, half a cup of salt, plant-based milk, and vanilla. Two bags, one bigger than the other. Let's start our recipe. We will get the smaller bag. Pour it in the bag. Try everything to get in. Close it well. Then I get the other bag. Add all the ice. Put everything in. Pour in the salt. And add the bag with the mixture of milk. And then shake it, shake it, shake it. I made some exercise with that shake. And we will have to shake it for five to 10 minutes until it gets sturdy. That ice cream was delicious! Do you want to see the next episode? Subscribe and hit the bell to receive all the notifications of amazing creation. And I have a great surprise for you explorers. Bye-bye!